everyone, this is probably going to be the last episode I'm going to record today. And basically what's happening right now is we're defeating the uh, Italians. More of like we're stripping them of all dignity and honor, but yeah. Right now the Italians are trying to give us some flack. And really the Germans realize, both me and the Germans realize how useless this war is by the Italians. Because now all they're going to do is just lose, quite frankly, a big chunk of their land because I'm pretty mad at them. And yeah, <laughs> this is how this is how it must work. But uh, Tungi, yay! People, we get more cores. But yeah, we are basically destroying whatever armies we can, destroying whatever comes our way, basically. And there's not much the these guys can really do about it, because we're the more powerful ones here. And they realize that. Look at that, 50k, and we're not even really fighting them. Grievous insults. Oman, what are you guys doing? I will destroy you if I really have to, just saying. But as soon as this war is over, then we can finally get that state up and running. The first African state that turned to a colonial place, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. Finally seeing that. Finally seeing the first one turn into a colonial state. I mean, I've never seen any other. Probably never, none of the other ones are probably going to turn into actual states, but I'm glad at least a couple of them did. I'm probably going to zoom out too because at this point in the game, lag is a serious issue. So let's just get back, back over here, and just let them siege. Because we really don't need to be paying too much attention, and we have so much money, so much money. I don't know what to do with. Oh my goodness! I know when I know once this goes away, I'm going to be terrible. But Britain, I wish we could have made you bleed. Oh, why are you guys at war with the uh... <laughs> Zinu? Uh, annexation. Oh. Oops. Hey, do you guys want peace? No. <laughs> you guys don't get that. You guys you guys don't get my demands. I'm not giving up until I get what I want. Basically, Italy, I didn't want you guys to form in the beginning, but I knew I couldn't stop you in the beginning from forming. But now, since I have a chance, I'm going to whip you guys to a new thunder. You guys aren't coming back. <laughs> you guys ain't coming back. And that's something you guys should understand very quickly. Okay, Italy. If you guys want me to accept, uh, accept this basically. If you give me Pinmont, the original place of your, if you give, if you guys give me your birthplace, I will be happy. Okay. If you guys give me your original capital, I will be happy, because that basically, that, that I think that basically constitutes as me being enough of a jerk, as I finally own your main capital. <laughs> oh gosh, it makes me sound so terrible when I think of it that way, but. <sighs> okay, there we go. And of course, France is doing its French Frenchy thing. Ah, France. I'm gonna have to deal with you now. Okay, I'm also getting a kind of bit of lag right now, so let's see. France, I could actually declare war on you for no darn reason except to go get the Alice Lorene region, which still baffles me I can do that. Seriously, it does. But. You guys, stop messing with my Spain. This is my Spain. My Spain requires my attendance. Let's see. How much influence do I have right now? 75. I could probably get him back in pretty quickly. Um, hmm. Now, I'm just going to add him back in first. And then I'm going to dispel all the, British, all the French advisors. And let's see. And there we go go so now Italy let's make this painless boom <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> uh, thank you thank you thank you all right and we do have a lot of, we do have a lot of ships that are being built so we're gonna all put them up we're gonna put them all oh wait what new no. new no. no you guys go right here okay no, we're going to put all you troops all in uh, Tunis, because I need all you guys to be in Tunis. This is an easy place for me to rally. You guys, get back into our old land. Yeah, don't die. Don't die out here. Don't die in this foreign land. Uh, and get all into your provinces. But yeah, now that we have a free moment. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, guys. Huh? Huh. Oh, it costs that much colonial power? Well, let's see, who can we free 
right now to get our infamy down and to release a lot of people. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are really small though. I don't really like that. I need a really big one though. So I want to do all these little tiny ones. Because I do also need to... Niger. Hmm, that's a pretty big one. So, Kanto, Sma How much does it cost to free Persia? <laughs> Uh, Persia, 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 Persia. Because I believe that Persia would be better. F okay, let's be real here. I think Persia would probably be better off if they weren't in my in my empire. Yeah, there you are. So, um, honestly, I'm just yeah. They they're really just kind of there. Um, I hate to be honest, but yeah. It's kind of truth, but before we do that, let's see if there's anyone else we can break up. We could probably break up some Butch Chani people, some Butch Chan or something like that. A uh, Sailor Confederation. Hmm. Cause, ooh, yeah. Cause we want to make sure that when we break up Persia, it doesn't become Kurdistan. Three provinces for Kurdistan. Then break up Adedistan. Well, we're making a very weak Persia, but uh, this is how we're gonna do it. We're going to uh, not. We're gonna break up Persia last. First, let's break up a Sailor Confederation. Uh, why did I just get allow annexation by by the Pomeranians? Okay, okay, that was kind of weird. Um, we're gonna go to where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Kalanapono. No. Egypt, no, 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 There it is. A Jewistan release. <laughs> this is also dispelling my infamy, which is nice. Uh, Bolkovona, I would do, but I don't know where that is. And I could randomly release someone I don't want to release, so let's not do that. Okay. And we also need to release Kurdistan. Kurdistan, Kurdistan, Kurdistan. Kurdistan, Kurdistan, Kurdistan. Uh, Korea. Kur I guess I can't release Kurdistan. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got two new. We got a couple new people. Oh, Kurdistan already exists. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Does Butchistan already exist? New. No. Good. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anyone else I can move release from Persia? Let's see. Is there a province for Bajistan? Let's see. Bajistan, 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 Bajistan. Nope, there isn't anyone else I can release. Well then, Persia, I think it's your lucky day because since I have no use of keeping you guys around, and I already have like a 42 million population, I don't need you guys anymore for pump. I'm gonna finally free you. After I find you, though. Let's just go very. There we go. Release the nation of Persia. Yes. And there we go, everyone. We have Austrian, Hungarian, Persia with all these other little, little tiny states to boat it, but. Yeah. Now Persia will actually have a formidable army, hopefully, over there. Uh, hopefully they'll do something with a formidable army, and um, I'm frankly, I'm frankly quite, uh, I'm frankly quite sad that we could not uh, do what I wanted to do, which was <laughs> upgrade. But um, yeah. Speaking of which, speaking of upgrade, I think it's time for us to do a massively uh, upgrade because I think it's finally time for us to get five forts. So let's start doing this. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of realm maintenance. Sorry, guys. Because, like, we we basically went to war for a very long time. And a lot of things changed. So we're going to have to do a lot of upgrading, stat building, stuff like that.
In fact, you know what, this might get really boring, so I'm just gonna stop the episode and come back when it's actually all done. Yeah, it's back. Yeah, sorry about that. I sometimes forget because I get too caught up in the game that not everyone likes the, uh, to watch all the, like, realm maintenance and, like, looking at all the, like, ships I build and all that kind of stuff, so I get, I get sometimes a little bit caught up, but this time I remembered to skip all that for you guys, and so, yeah. Although, after we were done, it actually didn't take me that long, so... Maybe you guys should have watched it. Hmm? I don't know. Anyways, we have a birth rate of stable. Good gracious, that's good. Because when, when it's unstable, that usually means I have to provide more jobs for my people. Which, right now, we already have 21 crap. Holy shoot, 21 craftsmen in Cairo. Cairo is an actual city, man? What? 21 craftsmen in Cairo. Wow. I, I don't know what to say to that, except... Go get better, go migrate to my country. I have better jobs almost everywhere. Just look around my country, seriously, we have... The war is over! Yay! With the war finished, Archinger people have taken the streets of Benda. Oh, come on! No! Oh, shoot. No war until February 1820. Ah, shoot. I didn't want that to happen. Shoot. So guys, we can't declare war on anyone for like, a couple years. So that means we're basically, uh, that kind of ruins, homo, nether, <laughs> oh sorry guys, I thought that said hobo, homo neanderlentius, like it was the Netherlands, I was like homo, homo Netherlands discovered, I was like, what, but it's actually this, so that makes more sense, but it happened exactly at the point where I had nowhere to investigate, that kind of stunk, wish I could, wish I could have done that a little bit better, but, do I get the points added, no, Oh, that's so mean. Oh, man. Alright, National Conference. Let's go to the National Conference. Maybe that'll cheer me up. Okay. Also, what do you want, Brazil? Sure, whatevs. Who am I? Oh, my. I wasn't really paying attention. So what, what are we doing? Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. I'm at war with my good friends, America. Good job. You just got me officially angry. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to establish this now. I don't really want to be in this war, so who's the war leader? So I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to them about this. Mecca, you guys the war leader. No? Okay, who's the war Argentina, you guys the war leader? Okay, I don't really care. Just get me out of it. They would not accept this offer. <sighs> I'm gonna have to wait for them to do a counter rebuttal. Before I can do anything. Well, at least this gives us time to talk about war. <laughs> uh, as we slowly build up a massive assortment of uh, materials. And now that we can build, I believe, the most advanced... Uh, yes, there we go. The most advanced ship in the game, the Dreadnought. I can actually start building up a navy again. Or actually can start building up main primary ships. And we have our troops right next to the... We have our troops right next to the French. <laughs> now we can definitely assist in any, like, uh, French-German relationships. Which I hope will happen soon. Although we have three years of peace, my ass. <laughs> or yeah, war in the first, like, two minutes of peace. Okay, Greece is apparently doing some kind of rebellion problems. Let's see, do I have to deal with it? Uh, let's see. Can I deal with this? Yeah, they can deal with this, so I don't really have to fight this. Good, thank goodness. Okay, we have so many. So many. Just keep going all to here. Any of these guys formed over here yet? No. Okay, yeah, I have, do have to kind of keep circling around to make sure that none of those ships I created get formed over here. Oh, yeah, they did. Okay, all you guys travel. You can travel far, but go all the way to Tunis over here. And then... Let's see, you guys, you one mortar ship, you travel all the way to Tunis too. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to wait till this was over with, I don't even care what's going on in it. Ah oh, man, Brazil you idiot, why did you attack when the Americans were obviously not wanting you to? You guys are gonna get ripped apart and I can't really do much about it, cause I'm not really, yeah. <sighs> okay. Is everyone's ego satisfied? Can I can I get out of this war? I mean, I really don't want to be in this war. So can I get out of it? 
Okay, no. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna put this on a point. Until, until Brazil is conquered, I don't think they're gonna let me out of this war, which stinks. <sighs> well. It's not like, it's not like I'm doing anything else for like three years. So, yeah, I guess we could be in, I guess we could make this war last for a little bit. Even though I definitely don't want it, but, eh, it wouldn't be too bad. I definitely don't want this war. Okay, ah, no, I want this pop-up. Get the pop-up, get the pop-up, get the pop-up. Let's see, yes, now we can build dreadnoughts. That's good. And let's see, in Greece right now they are having major troubles. Major, major troubles. But, uh, I have faith that the military will be able to handle it. I mean, I shouldn't constantly have to be the bodyguard of all my vassals. Some of them should do rumors, deny rumors. Guess this one, do not deny the rumors. Uh, Ukraine? Sure, we'll be allies again. I don't know why you keep doing that, Ukraine. You guys are definitely my friend and only my friend. Don't you dare go back to Russia. Don't you dare go back to Russia. Russia is not your friend. Russia is not your friend. Uh, let's... I hear it. I can't believe you guys are here. Put them in quickly. Yes, democracy for Guatemala. Why do we keep sending di diplomatic missions to Guatemala? Guatemala, what the heck are you? Because you guys are having serious bad trouble with freedom. Okay? Seriously. What are you guys? You guys are all communists, but you have red guards rising in your country. Wow. That's embarrassing. Also, you guys are idiots. I mean, if you guys make it out of this, I'll be shocked. Uh, colonial discontent. Uh... Yeah, equitable. We must be reasonable people about everything because we are the Austrian Hungarians. Let's see, do we want chocolate subsidies? No. Uh, good thing no one's asking for chocolate subsidies. And no one's asking for healthcare, which I'm really happy about. They won't all want this, don't they? No. Let's give you medium endowment. Yeah, we could do that. We could definitely do medium endowment. But no, you guys don't. You guys aren't getting chocolate subsidies. Apparently, my country, my I do not believe in chocolate subsidies. Which I guess is good, it makes my economy much more durable. And I guess I could collapse all these things because I don't really care about them. Let's see, don't really need you, don't really need you. Let's see, anything else I don't need? Uh, yeah, I don't really need you. Okay, get back into the game. And yes, let's see. Oh, uh, what Christ. Oh wait, I don't, I don't get to have to be involved in this. Yay! Wait, wait, the Qing Empire? Wait, what? Wait, what, what, what's happening? Something involved the Qing Empire. Okay, so... Acquire Pommelay. Huh? The Qing Empire... Oh, 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 I get it. Oh, yeah, the Qing wanted something from the Russians. The Russians didn't want to give it. I see. I see what's happening. Okay, that makes sense. I was just, like, reading that, like... Wait, what? What the heck is going on here? Okay, let's see. Hmm... Is there anything that's really outdated? You know our navy is actually insanely outdated now that I'm looking at them. Let's like take down some of these groups because they're really easy to do. And because it doesn't really take that long. So yeah, let's take down some of these. I think we literally just covered naval plans in like literally one month. Wow. And we got naval supply, supply mission, naval professionalism. I mean, just keep taking down some of these weaker technologies. I want to make sure I'm tier 3 in almost everything. But yeah, this crisis right now could actually develop into a great war again. Uh, Japan's taking the side of the... <laughs> Wait, Italy became a great power again. What? Oh gosh, dang it. Oh man. Okay, oh, Canada got knocked out, that's why. That's why Italy became a great power again. Oh man. Okay, well, if war comes to worst, if war comes, I'm pretty sure the Germans are going to win. Unless, the only way the only way this crisis is actually going to heat up is if France, most likely the UK will support these guys, and most likely France will support Germany. No, they're going to support Italy. Ooh. I think Germany might actually have to back down from this. Because I don't think they're going to be able to do it. As we slowly tech down everything that we need to tech down. Because we're finally starting to get to that naval idea at the very end of the game. As we usually do as Austria. Let's see, let's go down here. 
Just keep combining anything we have into that army right there. Uh, let's see, we finally have some troops. Yeah, we finally got some, like, ships over here. Let's go start combining them. And I think that's the end of today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, before we end it, let's see, can I get out of this war now? Please. I, I don't really care about this war. It's kind of stupid in a lot of... Okay, can I get out of this? Do, do you guys want anything? No, you guys don't, still. So as soon as I want something, maybe we can actually start negotiating, but... Until then, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.